So today we are going to see the addressing modes of AP36. So we have already studied the architectures and uh, now let's go with the addressing modes. So in AP86 there are uh, mainly four addressing modes. As you can see here the immediate addressing mode and uh, register indirect addressing mode and direct addressing mode and register indirect addressing mode. So any of the market processor you take uh, it can be 886 or uh, it can be 805 and controller or maybe any other controller. So the, the classic addressing modes are mainly these four. Okay. So that is immediate addressing mode, register indirect addressing mode, direct addressing mode and register indirect addressing mode. Now apart from these addressing modes, there are also some sub classifications which are made like uh, Based addressing mode, index addressing mode, base index addressing mode, base plus index with the displacement addressing mode. Uh, these are some of the extra addressing mode, but uh, we have to see the main addressing mode now in detail. So let's go with each one of these addressing mode. So an addressing mode is actually a kind of a classification of the instruction. So you take an instruction which has a uh, you know two main parts one is actually a mnemonic another is uh, operand so mnemonic is something which will we can see see if you take an example of indirect addressing mode so in the indirect addressing mode the addressing mode in which the data operand is a part of the instruction itself it is known as immediate addressing mode so if you take an example here see move move is a mnemonic Move is a mnemonic which will tell what this operation is. It can be add, it can be subtract, it can be division, it can be multiplication. So that's the mnemonic. What are operands? Operands are here. You see, the rightmost side of an instruction is usually an operand. Like the operand is state uh, is divided as source and destination. So as you can see here, AL is a destination and a 20 is a source. So what exactly happens here? So here the content 20H is loaded to AL register. The value 20H is loaded to AL register. So an immediate addressing mode is one which the data operand is a part of the instruction itself and uh, uh, immediate data will be loaded to a register. So every time a register will be loaded with one immediate value, a data. So it can be used as a count or it can be used for any literal number. So 20H is a number which is loaded to A register. It's a very simple addressing mode where always source is a number. A destination can be a register or even can, can be a memory also sometimes. So here I have taken only register address, register values. So it can be even memory also. So move AL comma 20 H, move SI comma 2345 H. Now SI is a 16 bit register here. So 2345 H is a value which is loaded to the 16 bit register. Similarly, F800 H is a 16 bit value which is loaded to the BX register. So you need to define what is an immediate addressing mode and then you need to give an example. So for an immediate addressing mode, these are the examples. I can have even multiple examples. So this is an example of 8-bit. This is an example for 16-bit. So this is an immediate addressing mode. So let's go with the next addressing mode. Uh, that is register addressing mode. So register addressing mode is one of the simplest form of addressing mode. It's easy to remember also. Where both source and destination operands are registers. In an instruction where both source and destination operands are registers is called as register addressing mode. So here move BL is load BL value is loaded to AL register. Here BX value is loaded to AX register. Here SI value is loaded to AX register. So these are the three different instructions. I can even have an add instruction here. So add AL comma BL. It's, it's possible because both operands are. So we don't worry about the mnemonic what we use. We worry about the operand, what type of operands are used in source and destination. So here all the source registers are registers or destination also are registers. So that case it becomes register addressing mode. 
So moving further on the next addressing mode called direct addressing mode. So a direct addressing mode is a uh, is a kind of an addressing mode where you are actually dealing with the memory. So whenever you deal with the memory operand, you can uh, you can address a memory using two methods: uh, indirect method, direct method. Okay. So direct addressing is one of the class. Indirect addressing is another class. In direct addressing, what you do? either source or destination operands can be directly addressed so so this is an addressing mode wherein you address the source or destination remember it is or not and so source or destination can be addressed directly so in this case i wanted to take a content from 1234h memory loop. Okay, one two three four H. So this is a memory location. Uh, I'm talking in the data segment. In the data segment, I wanted to take this content. So if I don't specify anything in the instruction, by default it is data set. So from the one two three four H location, I wanted to load a data to byte to AL register. So this one two three four H is actually indirectly, sorry, directly addressed. I'm specifying the location. Which location I wanted, so that is loaded to A register. In next case, I have a value. Now, this is a feature of your assembly directive that you need to have declare the variable value as a memory location. So somewhere in the program, value is declared with an offset address. So this offset address value stored in that location is loaded to B X register. So here, since the destination is a 16-bit register. Okay, automatically the value from this location will be 16-bit value from this location will be taken. Whereas in the previous example, you see move AL comma 1234H. Since the destination is an 8-bit register, only 8-bit value from this location is taken, not the 16-bit. So it depends on what location, the size of the location that you prescribe in the destination or source. So the other way is also possible. Okay. That is move one two three four h comma al. So right now we have understood three addressing mode. That is immediate addressing mode, register addressing mode, and direct addressing mode. I will show some examples on this. How exactly these instruction can be used, and you can see the results. So at any point, if these instructions are uh, these addressing modes are asked, you should able to reproduce. The immediate addressing mode definition and an example, register addressing mode a definition and an example, direct addressing mode definition and an example. So, so what we will do is we will move on to one of the simulation. So I have a simulation two here, which I am using. I am using this eight zero eight six emulator. So you can download this from the internet, and uh, you can use it. So, so what we do here is uh, let's write a code here. So I wanted to demonstrate a uh, addressing mode for immediate addressing mode. I wanted to show you how exactly immediate addressing mode. So what we'll do is we will write an instruction for mode. AL comma 20H. So I'm going to load a value to register AL. Next, move BL comma 30H and move AH comma 40H. So this is a value. So next is a register addressing. Registered person. What I do is move a l c l comma a move b b x comma a. So these are all registered. Person. Next, I will do a 
डायरेक्ट एक्टर से सो डायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग इज समथिंग आई एम इंटरेस्टेड टू लोड सम वैल्यू टू अ रजिस्टर सो व्हाट आई विल डू इज आई वांटेड टू सेव द कंटेंट ऑफ अ रजिस्टर एल टू सम लोकेशन सो माय एल रजिस्टर आई नीड टू सेव इट इन अ लोकेशन 1 2 3 4 h comma yeah. so this is a direct address see i wanted to save this 20 h which is there in al al is having 20 h so that 20 h value i wanted to save it in 1 2 3 4 so i am specifying which location i wanted so that is a direct address see so similarly i can even uh, get a, a number to ch register uh, from uh, 1 2 3 5 h location i want to get the number and i want to get a number to dx register uh from 1 2 3 5 h location so let's see what are the difference between all these so these these are all the instruction for our addressing mode so so i am loading i am getting a value and uh, we can also have an instruction where we can save something to a location mm, 100h let's save the content of a okay so i am considering all the possibilities now for uh, immediate direct as well as indirect so we can directly emulate so there is an emulate button here so if you click on emulate and a window will open on the debugger board and you can see you can execute all these instructions and you can see how exactly these instruction works so so let's start emulating so i will click on this emulation so it will now go with the emulation key emulation window so let's change it yes so so look at this uh, window here the emulation window as you can see here i have an instruction o al comma 20h o bl comma 30h something value immediate and as you can see here the register a x b x c x all values are having these are having default values initial now let's go with the single step execution so when i execute mo al comma 20h what happens the value 20h will be loaded to al register as you can see here so 20h is loaded oh, with the oh, al register you see here 20h is loaded now it is about to execute mo bl comma 30h so when you execute this instruction so bl becomes 30h and next is ah ah is again i'm going to execute so ah becomes 40h see values are loaded to these registers okay so these are the 8 bit values that i am loading into the registers now this is immediate to see now let's go with the register to see so so cl comma al is a register cl comma al so i am moving the content of al to cl so the content of cl register which is 19 i have to be replaced by now with the al that is 20 you see here it will be replaced see here so cl register becomes 20 i have ax comma dx i am moving the value of ax register to dx so dx is now 0 0 because as you can see here dx is 0 0 now ax is having 40 20 value now it will be replaced see it is changed now what you can see on the middle of this row is actually the op code see the 8086 understands these instruction not by this mnemonics it understand the instruction by these numbers you can see here these are the numbers so mu al comma 20h is nothing but b0 and 20 so b0 is a code for mu al it will understand mu al as b0 and number as 20 as it is see here now move bl comma 30 see here b3 and 30 they are the code and this is a hexadecimal hexadecimal number equivalent and what you can see here 
on the leftmost side. That is the address where this is saved. As you can see, the address field is five digit. I know now you know we have already dealt with the segmentation. So this is a five digit number which is having an offset as well as segment address. So 07102 is a physical address 20 bit where this number is saved. So instruction is fetched from this location and executed. Now we are at this instruction. See here, move. Now it is about to execute this instruction. It's not yet executed. So AL content supposed to be moved to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. H. Why 0? Because I am considering the whole physical address now. See here. Uh, in the previous instruction, we have typed only 1, 2, 3, 4. Now when disassembling, it takes 0 because it is calculating the actual address. You see how many instruction it takes. A2, 34, 1, 2 including all the values okay so it is embedded along with this opcode the instruction in which it has to be fetched from this memory and it has to be executed so where i supposed to see the result for this instruction one two three four h should be loaded with the value of register a a n is how much 20 20 is the value should be loaded to one two three four h location now let's see what is there in one two three four h location so, we will see what is there in 1234H location. So, for that we need to see the memory. So, memory we need to see. So, memory you can find it here. The uh, view option you have something called as a memory. So, this is your memory which is here. So, I need to check the memory segment address. See this in the memory. What is the segment colon offset? I need to enter the segment and then I need to enter the offset. So see 1, 2, 3, 4, H in the data segment. What is the value of data segment? Data segment is here you see 0, 7, 0, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0. So here it is taken as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, H. So I need to take the memory. So, 0700, zero, zero, then this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the memory. So, I need to update this. Value is 0. The value is 0 here. So, what happens when I execute this instruction? So, now let's go back to the simulation of this and let's see how it executes so let's run this now you see the memory what exactly the content in this so here let me update it see here it's already 20 so memory is updated see here 20 has arrived why how this comes See there 1, 2, 3, 4, H this instruction. We executed this instruction and 1, 2, 3, 4, H content value in that location will be replaced with A. Now what else we have here? So 1, 2, 3, 5, H location. So this effective address 1, 2, 3, 5, H location now in the data segment will be loaded to CH register. So I suppose to have CH is already having a 0, 0. It doesn't make any change. So if you see the locations uh, wherein so 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you see the location here, the 1, 2, 3, 4 H, so 1, 2, 3, 4 H, 3, 5 H is this, 1, 2, 3, 5 H is here. So if it's 0, 0, I can update it some value. So I can say some H is a number here. So let's say I will say 45. So I will say 45 in this location. So I have edited the value 45 here. So 45 value is entered. Now let's see what happens.
when I execute this instruction. So one, two, three, five. Uh, so let's go back to the program and let's see what happens. Okay, so let me execute this instruction. Single step executed. You see what is the content of ch? Ch becomes 45. How it came? From that location, the value has come here. So this is the direct addressing and specifying all the direct values. So again, 1, 2, 3, 5, h to dx. Now what happens dx? See, now let's see how exactly values come. Here, the 8-bit value has come previously. Now the 16-bit value should come because the source is supposed to be 16-bit value because your destination is 16-bit register. dx is 16-bit register. So 1, 2, 3, 5, h from that location, two consecutive numbers, two numbers, two bytes are fetched and saved to dx register. Now, what are the two numbers in that location? So, the way in which the values are saved in that location, if you see here, the location, uh, the memory content in this location, 45, this will be the lower byte and this will be the higher byte. So, when the value will be saved, so let me save it as uh, 56. So, 56 and 45. So, 56 is the higher byte of your number. 45 is treated as the lower byte. Okay. There is a format. 45, then the 55. So, this will be the lower byte. This will be the higher byte. So, this value will be loaded to the register move. That is DX register. So, DX what we have the dx so dx he is 40 and 20 40 and 20 is a dx register content so it will be replaced with the new content so let's execute that and see what happens see dx becomes 56 and 45 as i mentioned 45 will be the first byte 56 will be the next byte will be gone to the higher byte of the register. So this is every in every uh, 8086 instruction set whenever you handle a 16 bit number from the memory remember first byte is a lower byte second byte is a higher byte that is a fixed format. Now let's go to the next one. So here again this is the direct addressing where the content of AX is loaded to 1000 H location. So the content AX is loaded to 1000. So what is the 1000 H uh, value I'm not worried so I need to see what is there in AX so it's a kind of a right instruction so AX is 40 and 20 so the 1000 H will get the first location will get the AL register content second location gets the AH register content so that is 2040 it will save it in the format 2040 number is 4020 the, the way in which it is saved as 2040 so we need to see the location 1000 so let me execute this single step so it's executed now let's see what happens in the memory so let's go to the memory and uh, check it here so the value so this is actually the thousand i'm interested to see it as a thousand location so see here 2040 as you can see 20 and 40 is a value 40 20 is saved as 2040 the other way okay so 16-bit and 8-bit transition, how it happens in 8086 is very important. That is a byte, there is no issues, it will save one byte by byte. Whereas when the word data is saved, always first it will save the lower byte, next it will save the higher byte. Yeah. Similarly, when you read it from the memory, first it will take it as a lower byte value, then next byte will be taken as a higher byte value. That is how the format is. So this is about the three types of addressing mode that is indirect, direct, sorry the register, addressing mode, immediate addressing oh, mode okay. and so Yes, so it is here. So 
the register address in node. Yes, this is register indirect address in node. So register indirect and uh, that's what we so direct till direct address in node we have seen. So how exactly this? So let's go with the last address in node that is register indirect address in node. So in the register indirect address in node, so we have uh, we have to address the location indirectly uh, in the sense. Uh, a register, a location, what we need. Let's say we want to address a location 1000x location. So I, I'm not going to address the 1000x directly. What I will do is I will save the 1000x value in a register. Like there is a fixed set of the registers. In this offset address of the data is in either the data segment, either in BX register, SI register, or DA register. So these are the three base register along with the SP register also possible. But for the addressing mode, we consider only these main register as a uh, example. So data is supposed to be available at the address pointed by the content of any of the registers. So these registers. So I need to take it as an address pointer. So there can be the register indirect can be of two types basically base addressing or index addressing. All are indir indirect only, but we are classifying further as base addressing and index addressing. So in base addressing, the pointer is a base register and in index addressing, pointer is an indirect register. So see an example here. Look at this example. Move AL, comma, SI. So a, the way in which this is done, it is with the square bracket. The square bracket is used to represent the register, which, which indicates that the content from the SI is indirectly addressed. It indicates that the content from the SI is indirectly pointed. So that's why this is called as indirect addressing mode. Similarly, here BX is indirectly addressed. Here DI is indirectly addressed. So, and you see mnemonic is different. I can have a different mnemonic for different addressing mode. But what's important is the type of the operands that we use. So move AL comma SI. So what happens? The content in the SI will be treated as the memory location, and from that location, value is taken and coded to A register. This is what happens with the register indirect addressing mode. Now let's see an example uh, in the programming. So we'll go back to the programming and let's have an example for indirect addressing more. So what we do is we will write more AL comma SI. What is there in SI? We have to specify. Otherwise, we will not be knowing what is there in SI and what value is taken from that. So move SI. This is an immediate addressing. I want to take it from, uh, let's say, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5. Okay, we have already used this. 1, 2, 3, 5. So, instead of taking this directly from 1, 2, 3, 5, I am lo loading this 1, 2, 3, 5 to SI and then from there SI to AL. So, this is what I do. So, this is an indirect. Similarly, move si comma dx so i can load the value of a dx register to si so this is again an indirect way so where destination is an indirect pointer both are possible so let's see how exactly this this will execute so we'll go back to the simulation mode of the previous So here is a instruction which is so we have uh, a like was here now we are here no si with one two three five h so now let's see see this content is yeah we are here si comma one two three five h 
is set to execute. So SI is having now what is the value in SI? SI is 0 here. See here? See. So it's supposed to be moved with the 1, 2, 3, 5 H. So it will be moved. See the change. It's not immediate. Now what I'm going to do is I will take that content, okay, 1, 2, 3, 5 H indirect. So we know already what was there in the memory, 1, 2, 3, 5 H. So as you can see in the memory, me memory window, which was this, so we have to find what is there in 1, 2, 3, 5 H. So this is the location, 1, 2, 3, 5, update. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 5 is doesn't have anything. Let's save some value as uh, 44, 66 is a value. So, what I will do is I will save the content of, I will take this 1, 2, 3, 5 content 44 to register AL. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. 44 values taken to AL indirectly with the SI register. So, we are going to see the simulation this okay, let's go with the single step and see what happens now we are supposed to get 44 to the register AL AL is having 20 now it's supposed to become 44 you see here this has become 44 because we are taking it from the location similarly now DX is having some 0 0 that I will write it back to that location so earlier I have saved 44 6 to 6 now after executing this instruction, the SI content which is indirectly pointed becomes 0, 0. Let's execute this and see this executed and check the memory once. So we will check the memory and let's see what happens in the memory. See here, the memory has become 0, 0. See the content, this is 0, 0 now. So we are addressing the instruction indirectly. So these are the addressing modes that we are using. These are the addressing modes that is register indirect addressing mode and uh, just quickly summarize few of the instructions uh, which we have uh, we already uh, covered. Register you see in example move ax comma bx immediate is move ch comma some number direct you have to specify a direct value indirect we have to specify apart from that we have to see base plus index base plus index means it's an indirect addressing mode where one is a base register other is an indirect register only okay you cannot have si plus di the rule is base register alone or index register alone if you want to club the two content then base plus index bx plus si we need to do you cannot have base, another base or another index. The register relative, I can have an offset to a register, base or index. So BX plus 4, I can add an offset. Similarly, base, index plus relative, I can have this kind of addressing mode. So we can have all these kind of an addressing mode under this uh, category. So this is about how uh, the addressing modes are achieved in 8086 microprocessor. So,